So I look one Sunday at Friendly Temple and I realize that people leave every Sunday. They leave here motivated, they leave here fired up, they leave here filled with word, and they still have issues in life. They Some still have their cancer, they still have unemployment, all these are going on. But they have this motivation, this connection, and I kept thinking, why couldn't we figure out a way to connect people, the homeless, caught up who don't know friendly, who don't have a relationship, how could we connect them with a word? And then we began to think about what if we made the focus of the evening worship really an outreach? Then brainstorming with some others as we started talking about outside of the walls being those who don't come here regularly. What happens if we make it literally outside of the walls? And so um, almost a year ago, uh, be this July, we held our first outside worship with the intent of connecting to the community, the intent of connecting to those who are homeless in, in and around the metro area. Anyone who participates in outside these walls can experience a powerful worship experience. It's a solidly preached word because that in the end is what's going to change lives. And then following that, an opportunity for special prayer and an opportunity for them to accept the Lord as their Savior. And then at the end of that, a fellowship meal because you get to know people when you break bread together. When I talk about outside these walls, I think of basically four W's. There's word, witness, there's worship, and their well-being. And the well-being piece is where we try to connect with what's called the continuum of care. And we believe that but the relationship with the Lord folds into that fourth one, the well-being. So why does this need to continue? Because people who are struggling need all of those in order to be whole. The Great Commission tells us to go ye therefore. And outside these walls is a great opportunity to do just that. The other thing that I've begun to recognize, and this is what's been exciting, there are people figuring out, I can help here. So there's a volunteer people who come and set up the chairs and the tents, and there were volunteers who came and drove the shuttles to pick up people. And there are those who said, I can't drive a shovel, I'm going to volunteer and give gas cars to be sure they get here. What I want people to know is there's a place here within outside these walls for you to do what the scriptures say, work out your own salvation. There are places, there are things you can do that no one else can do really, really can help that someone who does not know the Lord or who may know him but feels estranged because of life situations, you can help them know that there is a God.